Welcome to the Chemistry of Macromolecules lab. Um, your screen may not look exactly the way um, mine looks. Um, and depending on what semester you are um, and what if you're in the fall or in the spring or in the summer, um, the number of the Chemistry of Macromolecules lab may be two or it may be later in the semester, it may be 11. Um, you may be do, doing two um, um, modules at the same time in the same week in the summer. Um, what this um, video is supposed to help you with is it gives you a, a general idea um, of what you're facing um, with this module. So click on it. When you click on it, it opens up. Um, and just like every week, you see um, a couple of different folders that are opening up here or documents that are opening up here. There is a module overview and I'm going to go over each one of you with you. There's a module overview. There's the to know, to see, to do. That's the structure, um, how I structure the modules. So to know gives you the background information. To see tells you, it gives you videos um, of the things that you need to see in order to understand what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and then if you click on this folder here, that's the assignments. Um, this gives you an overview of the assignment this document does. Then there's a lecture quiz. There's a handout section quiz that usually is what the lab handout is and answers the questions in the lab handout. Um, and here is your labster assignment. Um, sometimes they're optional materials, sometimes they're not. Um, so that's the overview of, of um, what each of these modules is going to look like. And so I'm going to now jump into the module and just kind of walk you through um, what you're supposed to do this week. So you click on macromolecules and you click on the first document. Now you've got a couple of different options here. So uh, you don't have options yet. Um, so the the overview will tell you um, a couple of different things. It will tell you the concept that we're working with, um, the general principles that, that we're addressing, um, why it matters. Why do you care about the subject? And here I try to explain to you why you should care. Um, Try to lighten the mood with a with a little bit of a meme, um, and then there are um, objective statements um, that should give you an idea of what the kinds of things are you're supposed to be able to do after you're done with this. Um, then this, what comes here, is this video that I am currently recording. Um, and then there's a summary of all the activities that you are going to do. Those are usually the same kinds of thing. I want you to read the lab handout and we're going to look at the lab handout and show what's in that. Um, watch the lecture. The lecture is going to be very similar to what you've seen in the lab. Um, so if you're in my face-to-face -face class, the lecture is going to be very similar to what you've seen in the lab. The lecture is going to be, um, it'll be a little modified, but it's it's going to basically cover the same subject materials. So if you're in the face-to-face -face class, the online lecture is going to be a very good review. Um, if you're in the online class, the online lecture is going to be a way to give you access to my voice as it goes along with, with the lab handout. Most of the information is in the lab handout. Um, I usually add a couple of things in the, in the lecture um, to either illustrate or expand on what's in the lab handout. Um, then comes the lab instruction video um, in the chemistry of macromolecules that, that explains to you what you're doing in the lab and how that goes about. Um, there's a labster simulation. Um, in most weeks, we have a labster simulation. Sometimes there are two uh, that you can choose from. Um, do one of the two if you have two to choose from. Um, then there's a quiz on the lecture materials. Um, and then there is a handout set quiz, which is the, um, basically those are the answers 
this is where you give the answers to the lab handout. So if you're in the face-to-face -face class, um, you have the lab handout that you use to use uh, to do the experiment with. And now you're basically reviewing what you did in the lab using the data that is in the um, that is provided for the online students and you're answering those same questions. So um, it's the same kind of thing. It's good preparation for the exam because you'll see very similar data to that in the exam. Um, so that's your module overview. You click on the next um, thing over there. That's your next page. Your next page um, tells you what the lesson is going to be about what you're supposed to be paying attention to. Um, and then you get to the materials that you're going to be work with, working with. So all the materials can be found right here. So click on this right here and this will open up a folder. Um, and in this folder, you see in, in most weeks, you're going to see um, three different folders. One that says lab handout, one that says PowerPoint, and one that says question set. Uh, in some weeks, you're going to see an additional folder. And in this week, you see an additional folder that says Excel activity. Um, the lab handout is going to be the key item that you're going to need to look at. Um, that tells you the, the main background of everything that tells you the experiment. Um, and it gives you um, the blanks that you need to fill out. Um, you have two versions of this. Um, they're identical, except one of them is a, um, ex uh, a, um, a PDF and the other one is a Word document. Um, then you've got the PowerPoint, um, which is there are two PowerPoints. One is the lesson, one is the lecture, um, and the other one is the demonstration part. I split those up for the online um, class for the use in the online classroom. Um, if you're in my face-to-face -face class, usually the lecture part happens first and the demo part kind of happens in parts as the, um, as the lab progresses. Um, back to and then the question set is pulled from the lab handout it's just the questions so if you're in my um, online class if you're in my face-to-face -face class this is the part that I would actually ask, ask you to print out because this is the part that you're going to fill in um, the, the the questions in um, if you, you don't have to print it out if you don't want to print it out and you're just going to answer uh, make notes in your uh, make notes elsewhere uh, and fill in uh, your your um, items online uh, you're welcome to do that too um, and then back to the macromolecules in this week uh, we've got uh, an additional activity here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. It's an Excel activity that basically gives you, um, uh, this is one of those experiments that does not translate well into online, um, but I have this um, this um, file here, um, and you're going to have to download it for, for this to work, but it basically allows you to do the experiment that we're doing in the lab. You're doing this online. Um, for those of you who are in person, um, this is a great way to review the materials. Um, for those of you who are online, this is a great way to kind of feel a little hands-on um, with the experiment. So, um, and I'll show you um, in just a second how you get to all of those things. Um, so that's that. Um, now, here is the um, the lecture power the part. So here's the lecture part, and it goes along with the lecture PowerPoint that is uh, linked right here. Um, then the demonstration part here involves the demonstration PowerPoint um, and a video to go along with that. Um, and then the macromolecule Excel activity, you can download it and play it with yourself. But if you can't get it to work, there's a video of how it works. So where I'm literally going through the entire thing. Um, one of the things I want to point out, especially at this point, um, is uh, another resource you have. One is the, um, the Google site and the other one is the questions and answers page. Uh, you are likely to use the questions and answers page this week. Um, the Google site is here. Click on it for macromolecules. Um, 
and it gives you a couple of videos of different tests um, and pictures of um, what you may have seen in the classroom, a couple of extra optional resources here. Um, but the more important thing here is the questions and answers page. I created the questions and answers page to help you with some things that students traditionally struggle with. Um, and this particular assignment is one that students traditionally struggle with. And the one that students particularly struggle with, so if you go down here, you see macromolecules, click on that. So there's two things that students usually struggle with. One is the identification of the unknown. Um, and there is um, a, a link here. If you click on it, it takes you to the identification of one of the unknowns um, to kind of walk you through how do you make a decision, which one is a positive, which one is a negative, and how do you decide um, which unknown it possibly could be. Um, so that's the unknown part. Um, and then the one, the other one that students struggle with is the Lapster, um, those charts, um, because Lapster will only allow you to go on if you've got it correct. And where students struggle with here is um, you, instead of looking at the data, you're going for what you think it should be. Don't do that look at the data and go with that result. So that's that. So this is this is where um, where you need to look that up and where you find that is re right here with the questions and answers page. Um, so then when you click over here, you get to the assignments. Um, if you've missed it before, you get the link to the lab handout and question sets again. Um, then there is a lecture quiz. Here's explained what the lecture quiz is all about. Um, the macromolecules handout. Um, and then a Lapster assignment. Click off to the right. Um, that's where your lecture quiz is. And um, <laughs> this was past due yesterday, um, which is, um, hang on, let me go into this real quick. Hang on, assignments. You can come into it from the outside too. So. Here's the lecture quiz. I'm going to view this assessment. Um, and then you just, you know, you just click the answers. Um, and then when you um, the handout question set is similar to that, you view the assessment. Um, and then you just answer the questions. And these answers, uh, these questions are very similar to what you see um, in the, um, in the, um, in the lab handout, with the difference being that um, sometimes something that is a um, a short answer question um, may be turned into a multiple choice um, in the um, in the handout here, and then for Lapster, you click on the um, on the thing and click launch. Once you launch it. You click play, and after you hit play, it'll load. And sometimes it takes a minute to load, so give it give it a moment if it takes a minute. <laughs> Sound will start at some point. You <laughs> hit start. Start. So I'm listening to sound that's driving me nuts, so turn the sound off. Um, and then you go through this, hit continue. Um, you can see how this, how it works if you don't know how this works. If you know how it works, you just continue going. Um, and then it takes you places and you just follow um, follow but so when it says click here to continue click here to continue um, and just continue going going along this thing um, so that's your lapster assignment um, and that's it for this week's assignments hopefully this was helpful um, and gets you kind of an idea of what you're doing this week <laughs>